Hello and welcome to the channel Fabrico. Today we are going to sew a very stylish faux fur coat with a straight cut that fastens with snap buttons and features a drop shoulder and a shawl collar. There are pockets in the side front panels, the coat is fully lined. To sew it, you need the following fabrics. It's a long or short pile faux fur or faux sheepskin. Also you need interfacing, metal snap buttons and lining fabric. Interface and press the pocket hem on the lower front part. Attach the pocket lining with a 1 cm 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Press the allowance downward. Place the lower front part on the front side part and pin them together. Fold up and stitch the lining along the bottom edge with the side part. Fix the pocket along the side seam line and the vertical princess seam line. Press it. Place the side front on the central front, match the notches, pin and stitch with a 1 cm 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, press the seam allowances open. Fold the back pieces right sides together, align the central seam, match the notches, Pin and sew, press the seam allowances open. Sew the front pieces together along the collar edge, press the seam allowances open. Fold the front and back pieces right sides together, align the side edges. Match the notches and pin. Stitch them together. Press seam allowances open. Interface the back shoulder seam. Place the front and back shoulder seams right sides together. Match the notches and sew them together with a neckline too. Press the seam allowances open. Align the facing pieces right sides together and sew them together along the central collar edge. Press the seam allowances open. Place the facing onto the garment right sides together. Match the notches, pin and edge stitch with a 7 mm or 1 quarter of an inch seam allowance. Press and iron the sides without edges.
press the sleeve hem allowance along the notches. Fold the sleeve pieces right sides together, match the notches, pin and stitch, press the seam allowances open. Insert it into the arm side right sides together, match the notches, pin and sew, press and iron the sleeve cap seam without touching the seam with the iron. Fold the lining sleeves right sides together, match the notches, pin and stitch, leave an unstitched opening in the left sleeve and press the seam allowances toward the bottom sleeve. Place the lining front right sides together with the lining back, pin along the side edges and stitch, press seam allowances toward the back. Stitch a pleat on the lining back, then spread it out in both directions and pin it. Stitch the shoulder seams up to the notches, stopping 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch before the edge of the waistband. Press the seam allowances toward the back. Insert the lining sleeves into the arm side. Attach the holders from the lining at the shoulder seam area and under the armhole. Place the lining right sides together with the coat and pin along the edge of the waistband and collar. Match the notches and seams. Stitch along the waistband edge, then turn it around and stitch the shoulder seams, moving to the neckline. Stitch the collar seams, stitch the lining to the garment along the neckline and shoulder seams. Attach the holders to the garment. Sew the lining to the bottom of the sleeve, match the seams and notches, hand stitch it along the seam. Sew the lining to the bottom of the coat, match all the seams, hand stitch the hem along all the seams.
turn the coat inside out and sew the unstitched opening. Attach the buttons following the marks on the patterns. Give the garment a final press.